Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers and this week we are in one of the worst, worst care homes when it comes to abuse and other stuff that's gone off that we've been in for a very, very long time. I don't, I absolutely hate care homes. They make me feel horrible as it is. They it's really, really do. They, they are places. so sad, but it's just, there's a, there's a horrible feeling, even though a lot of the rooms are quite similar. There's just a horrible feeling of loss and like, like not loss of like death, but like loss of the people that are in here. They've lost the families, they've lost the houses, they've lost all Independence. that. Independence. Yeah, exactly. They lost the will to live. Yeah. And I think that- Oh, <laughs> fucking hell, fire! You scared the shit out of me with that mouse or a rat. <laughs> I just had yeah, a little, and I just looked, and it's it's in there. I, I just saw something there. Fuck! I've never, I've got fucking goosebumps. I'm not fucking scared of mats, mats or rice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm gonna try to show you now. He's gonna stop in there and see it run out. Open the door. Open the door. It's a little, if it's a little tiny mouse. It's a little tiny mouse with big teeth. No, mice don't hurt you. They don't. That's why people have pet. <laughs> I've never seen you like this. Oh, yeah. I have. Oh, yeah. You know, I hate mice. I hate rats. I didn't think you hated mice. Rats are just, they're just small rats. That's all no, they are. Mice are lovely. Open it. No, that's, I didn't say boot it. I will boot Don't you. boot a mouse or I'll boot you. Because they're cute. There's nothing there. I've got out of there. Surely there's going to be some mouse coming there. Yeah, it'll be hiding. Like in... I am not dragging stuff out. In the stables, um, there's loads, absolutely millions of them. And we move stuff about and they just appear from nowhere. Stop, don't kick it. Don't hurt it. What are in those bags? Get one out. Where have you gone, Ronald? Ronald? What are they? Co COVID-19 testing only. Sample collection kits. COVID tests? With this place, like having all these COVID tests here is horrendous because one of the reasons it got shut down was the amount of people that died here from COVID. It was like 80% of the population of this care home died in this care home with COVID. And then the abuse that went on alongside that as well was horrendous apparently, wasn't it? Yeah, they allocated all this PPE equipment. Yeah. Uh, all the masks and gloves and stuff, but they never use them. Uh, well, there's, they've so, got bags and bags with the testing stuff there. Which... So all, all the... What's the patients? They're not patients, are they? Uh, Residents. Yeah. They were just catching COVID. And then dying. spreading it round and all yeah, that. Yeah, it was rife. Yeah, exactly. So this place, when you'll see, it's quite a big place when we get looking round. But it went from full to capacity to like 20% of what was, was in there. I think there 60 people in it one bit. Really? Yeah. Well, what's 80% of 60 people? A lot. I can't work that out. Um, divide that by... So 12 off 60. It's 48. 48 people died. 48. So 48 people died in here all in the last couple of years because of COVID. Anyway, I think that mouse has found a way out somehow. God knows where I have never pooed myself like that. You made me absolutely shit my pants. And then I saw it just scuttling off in there. I, I could hear some like rustling. Yeah. God knows, it's, it's a metal case. I, I was thinking, I was yeah, it, it'll be hidden away behind one of them. If you pull them out, don't just kick them. You don't want to hurt it. It's only a little mouse. It'll just stay still until it, it has no other option. It knows it's... Stop it! Leave the poor thing alone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. I just don't like these places at all. I said it, I say it every single time to Andy, don't find us care homes to do. Not because I don't like them in general. What the hell is that for? Is that fit onto your balls? God, that's a big, well, that, they're your balls and they're mine. <laughs> 
I don't know. I feel like it's got something. Look at the shape of it. It's like to hold your balls up. Look at that. That is that is nothing but ball shape. Like, yeah, exactly. Just like lift, put it round it, hold it in place somehow to stop them being round your knees, maybe, or something like that. Some of them are getting all sweaty. Yeah, because you know what people, old people are like? Like they'd be wearing these shorts and the balls would be hanging out the bottom. Rear Manscaped comes in, ball the old riser. <laughs> you know, you do realise this video is not sponsored by Manscaped. Oh, bollocks. Exactly, we're not getting paid anything for you talking balls about balls. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I don't like it. I don't like it because a lot of the time, a lot of the rooms look exactly like they would have looked when these people were here. There's no... Like stuff chucked all over generally, is there? It's just I know on board games. It's stuff. coming home. Oh. It's coming. So that will have been from last year? Yeah. Maybe? From Euros? Yeah. Yeah, I so didn't do much good did we in Euros? Well no, or it could have been from the women. But I don't think it was that close, it shut down, so no. anyway. Let's keep looking. Right, so we're into the kitchens. And there's definitely not been any rats in here, Andy. Because look, hey up. Oh, it's, maybe there has been rats in here. It didn't look like it looking at this stuff, but what's all that there? Is that, is the rat? Herbs. No, but there's black bits in it as well. Rat shit. Yeah, but why is the rats not eating the stuff? There's like full on pot noodles and things there and just don't like katsu curry. Cat. <laughs> the red cat, I thought, fuck it, I'm off. Yeah. No, but there's like cereal and stuff. Oh, what is that? That's not fucking cereal. What's this? Is it Bombay mix? It's, it's a like fucking it. big box of Bombay mix with cornflakes mixed in by the looks of things. <laughs> That's a... Look, that's like, not like spicy food around here, does it? <laughs> Obviously not. You eat it. Yeah, look. Get on the Get on masala. Got yeah, they, the they're proper British EDL rats, that's what it is. <laughs> Not having any of that foreign muck. <laughs> that foreign muck, yeah. Ain't that foreign muck. <laughs> oh, what is in this, Andy? What is this? What is that? That. Just there. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Crumpets. Oh, look at them in there. Oh, the slimy. Oh, that's horrendous. That is so bad. Oh, cool. That's what stinks. Yeah, there really is a horrible smell in here. What is that, by the way? I thought it was flour at first, coconut. but it didn't. Is it d desiccated coconut? Yeah, disintegrated coconut. I hate desiccated coconut. Do you? Yeah. Don't you like snowballs? No, I like the marshmallow and the chocolate, but I don't, I'm not so keen on oh. coconut. Fucking hell. EDL rats back. <laughs> The thing is, I'll eat fresh coconut. I love fresh coconut. Yeah, but I like both, but... But I'm not so bothered about... Don't you like bounties? No. You fucking weirdo. You're one of these people that have got rid of them out of Christmas selections, aren't you? I'm fucking glad. No. <laughs> you want to get rid of coffee shit and all. There's no coffee ones in it. And any chocolate. Don't have coffee flavour. Nothing. Oh, don't you like tiramisu? That's different. No, it isn't. You can't really taste coffee in that. Of course you can. <laughs> it's like... I hate coffee flavoured stuff. But yeah. I love coffee. I yeah. don't always drink that tea. But you're weird anyway. We've had this conversation about you don't like tuna pasta because you don't like... Warm tuna. Warm tuna or cold pasta. Or cold pasta. You're an absolute melt. There's something wrong I hate wrong prawns, but I'll eat a prawn cocktail crisp, but I'll, I'll have a prawn cocktail because of the sauce. You're so strange. <laughs> I'm a weird actor. So strange. Oh, what is this? Is this food? Is this... Oh, yeah, meal type there, look. So you've got Ed up at the top. I know he's not called Ed. That has his food normal and what room he's in. But one thing I've noticed about all oh, like most of them are normal, but then it's like soup and things like that. But none of them ever get any pudding. I'd be mega pissed off. Yeah, you want a bit of pudding, don't you? That's the thing. You're in a care room. You at least want the perks of pudding. You don't just want the daily slop. Yeah. And like. Some of them are even declining the main food, let alone the puddings. They're like hospital shite, innit? Well, that's why he's ended up in hospital, probably better food. Yeah, because he got chopped up. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Chop, oh, chopped him up. Hospital. Chopped him up and fed him to them. Soft. <laughs> Soft and soup form. Yeah. Oh, God. But this is... All right, this is what we always say. I always feel a little bit bad by taking the piss, but... In these places, if you don't take the piss... It'll get to you. It does get to you. It gets really sad. So, we apologise, but we don't apologise. That's I the don't reason. I apologise. Fuck you. <laughs> you can't that. Get what out of here. What are these on? Thick and easy. Is that me? <laughs> thick and easy. I'm thick and I'm easy. What's times two? No, oh, just... thick and easy is times two. What else? Weetabix. What's fucking thick and easy? If that's Weetabix, cornflakes, tea and coffee. Porridge. Could it be? Could be. I love porridge, me. Proper love porridge. Sugar or sweet? Sugar or sweetener. Oh, yeah. Oh, what did that be? Battered fish, fish cakes with <gasps> mashed... Sorry, fish fridays. Oh, fish friday. Chicken pasta baked with garlic bread. Ooh, that's not bad. Hunter's chicken with right. seasonal veg. What, what's cold meat salad? And then stick them outside and then give them a lettuce. Yeah, in winter, you can meet outside and get cold, and then we'll. Well, if they have an feed iceberg lettuce, if they have an iceberg lettuce, they'll be cold anyway. Yeah. Get out anyway. Let's stop looking at what they were eating. Through to where the fridges and stuff are. Please put a bit. They're all on. I can hear them buzzing. Buzzing. <laughs> buzzing, mate. It's quite, look at all the Ribena lights up there. Oh Lord, what is that smell? What is it? What is that? God, that's a new alien's life form. Pick it up. A day to pick it up. Oh, is it hard? Is it a pear? What is it? I think it's supposed to be a pear. Or is it a... a Avocado. avocado. That's what I was trying to think. I couldn't think what it were. Oh. Somebody's bogies have collected. Oh, that's disgusting. Not to open this. Oh, oh, Lord. Open it. Oh, that's disgusting. That's another one. It's another avocado. That's someone's cock. Mine. <laughs> Not being used. What have got up here? These are my bollocks. Are they avocado stones? Oh, no, they're oranges or something. What's in that? <laughs> I love holding camera so much, it's brilliant. Are they mushrooms? Oh no, they chilies. Yeah, chilies. Little chilies, and what is in there? That's some these fucking sandwiches. Is it cheese? Is it a big block of cheese? Yeah. It's fucking cheese. It's racist cheese. That, like, new. Form of cheese like blue silton. Well, yeah, he's created another life form on there. Get out of here, then. I can't stand near that much longer. That's disgusting. Got oh, nothing in that one. What we got oh, in there? Some... Couple of prepared curries. It's like a bit of sweet and sour. Oh yeah, sweet that. and sour that, isn't it? And a bag of rice. And some. See, Shaking. there can't there can't be many rats in this bit. And mice and stuff, because it would have all gone. Yeah. Well, we've got lenticule stuff down here, pest control. Oh, yeah. I've not noticed that. Fingers stink. <laughs> That's nothing to do with that. It's not. Well, it was your missus' me. birthday the other day, weren't it? Well, that's about it. Yeah. Never know what happened. <laughs> right. We just came into this little office. And while we're in here, there's noises in there, isn't there? Boots on. I can hear it. I can hear something moving about. Can't get it. I don't think it'll pick up on camera, but there's definitely something. You can go first. I don't know what it is. That there is a beeping, that's not what we're listening to. But there's definitely something moving about. I'm fucking on edge, me. Proper on edge. So, anyway, we've just been having a look in here. And it's disgusting. It's absolutely horrendous. There's people's files. Like, like these are HR documents, but there's people's 
personal like addresses, like the all stuff to do with dates of birth and, and everything just left here. Why wouldn't they take medical records and stuff with them? Data protection and stuff. I know, it's so bad. But then if you look on here though, staff to do a lat uh, COVID lateral flow test every three days and then the weekly every Friday. So there's stuff on there. Every 28 days, monthly residents and daily temps for COVID done and recorded twice daily. Which is a bit ironic considering they weren't doing any of Yeah, they things. weren't, they weren't at all. There's stuff to do with COVID all over, but this is the reason they got shut down, isn't it? Because yeah. people were dying. And then we've got our RM9, soft diet until further notice. Look at that one. Jeff, I'm guessing room seven, playing up again, shut in room uh, for minimum of 48 hours until apologises to Susan. Oh, it's under Susan. That's horrendous. No, but I'd fuck Susan. I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what he was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but right, I don't care what you've done, even if you're an adult. If you've had a go at someone, like if you're an old person, I mean, you had a go, a go at someone, you shouldn't be shut in your room for 48 hours. That's disgusting. Might be in prison, isn't it? Yeah. It's confinement. Yeah, it's horrible. It's not a prison. They're supposed to be here to look after him. So bad. So, so bad. Oh, yeah. So they've got the stuff in it. Oh, don't. I don't like that stuff. I've been touching all that skanky stuff Yeah, but what? Fridge. You don't know what's in there. It could be jizz. It could be Jeff's jizz. <laughs> Got it strong. <laughs> Jesus He's been drinking a lot of whiskey and vodka, that's what it is. And then attacking Susan, apparently. Anyway. God, that is strong. <laughs> God, it got the back of my throat. So the actress to the bishop. What is that? Some resource. Yeah, but what's that bit for? I don't know what that's for. Get it out. I want to look at it. No one can see it if it's in a bag. What the f resource back. What are you gonna do? Over a up? I, I, I don't understand how you would use that. You're gonna get brought to life with that. I could like, like someone blowing in your ear. You don't even you blow any air out. I've done it. Oh, is it because it's a vacuum? It sucks it in. Yeah. Very weird. Oh, what's this? This is like a respirator. It's a, um, like asthma. Oh, is it? You sure? Oh, oxygen. Yeah, I just thought we were like an oxygen -y thing. You know the, the technical term. How big's an head? <laughs> it's made for me that, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh, oh piss pots. What is this? Oh my god. What is in that? What is it? Seriously, what? It says, um, shake container to loosen granules, fill container as follows, tablets no crushing required. Oh, is it like a waste thing? You put all your waste um, tablets, unused tablets and unused medicine and stuff in it and it keeps it safe. God knows. You're, you're Do not remove or ingest contents. Oh, who's gonna in, like? Oh, I know what. Let's suck up a couple of them. Yeah, let's let's eat some glass. What is it? It's midazolam. Midazolam. I don't know what midazolam is, but yeah, I reckon that's what it is. The oh look, is that one that's not been used yet? There, <laughs> with the granules in. Yeah. Then you add water to it. And it turns into like a jelly, and it just keeps it from being airborne. Whatever the fuck it is. So it's all your medicine cabinets in here, isn't it? Yeah. That sort of makes sense. What's in there? Oh, but there's a key for it, look. A weird shaped key, it says there, look. Oh, a big fat there. fucker, isn't it? But that's to take it from room to room, innit? To pass out all the medicine for each day. You'll have your room num yeah, room numbers on each one. Like Vera will have 25 tablets and... Yeah. George, yeah. Yvonne. Yeah, George will have his Viagra. They don't give them Viagra. Imagine. Don't they? Imagine. Don't fuck that. I'm not coming into an home. Well, I'm though. definitely not coming into home. I'll kill myself first. Absolutely no way am I getting put in an home. Got a fiber in erection, I'll pass out. <laughs> through shock, not, not through what else. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
Right, just wanted to show you an actual room that hasn't been trashed. Uh, I know it's still very boring. Ali's room, Ali Max. Oh, is it? Did it say it on there? What did it say it? No, it's just, no, it's just Ali Mac. What? How do you know that? Because it's an Ali Mac hoist. Ali Mac hoist. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Ali Mac hoist. You're an idiot. I'm sure oh, that's these nice. beds, me. Well, oh. You sure about that? Yeah, I wouldn't even inflated. Yeah, but would you want to lay on a bed that makes that noise every time you move over? Oh, no. Fucking hell, fire. I need to be in hell, I mean, firm me set. <laughs> oh, someone, one of our subscribers today was saying, uh, you better tell Andy that he's not going to, he can't retire for at least 20 years. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> because uh, we, we love what you do and we love the banter between you and all this oh, lot. 76. It doesn't matter. Oh, but he's so. I've got another mouse out calling me eye then. Would you, would you make me a souped up mobility scooter? Oh, <laughs> well, how would we get round these places? No, I just want to just rat about on no. it. No, Robo Andy. Like Robo. <laughs> Which would like to pass like that. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. That'd be amazing. Yeah, what's in here? Oh god, it just goes on forever this place. Oh, I told you. It's one of just... massive. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's definitely where uh, Jeff's attacked Susan. That was just premature though before he got us a bedroom. Yeah, she were at the other end of the corridor. Why are you going in the shower and toilet? Oh God, it's cold in there. In fact, they are, oh. Oh. Why is there someone's sliders and towel laid out ready? Someone's half into the shower though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but maybe, uh, maybe Hitler put this place together. It's not actually. <laughs> Hang on. What are you looking for? No gas pipes. <laughs> Someone's pinched them, that's why. <laughs> I'm having them back to gobbles. Gobbles. Oh, Lord. Right. <gasps> Fucking oh, hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> right, that's it. And thank you for watching this week. <laughs> why are we so on edge? It's so bad, like every. I don't know. But why has it come on? I know why it's come on because we've approached it, but. Well, yeah, but. It shouldn't be on, should it? It's obviously on an automatic Oops. thing. No, like you just. There's yeah, someone going to come and get you now because you pulled red cord. <laughs> oh, God. Right, we keep hearing bangs and bumps and noises. It is windy outside. But. It's still. I'm still really properly on edge in here. I don't like it at all. Do you? No. Everything just making me jump. Yeah. It's like this you what's making me Yeah, angry. because when am I like this? When am I ever jumpy? Oh, and what's up there? Oh, what is it? Caterpillar? Oh no, it's a, a centipede. I can't even get down to it, look. <clears throat> yeah, I wonder what's up there. Try and get something to stand on. Oh, there's a chair in there. Mm. Get that chair in there. Oh, fucking hell, fire! <gasps> it's not a real person! Fucking hell! It's 20 years, my ass. <laughs> 20 minutes at this rate, your voice has gone. What is happening here? Like your stuffy straw. Is it? He's got a cup for a neck. <laughs> <laughs> I bet someone's going to use this penny foot guy in. Yeah. Oh, that. F you. Were you that scared me? Your big face running past me. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was like a dead body. It, it looks like He's someone. Got a massive chest. Yeah, massive chest, but a very, very small head. That is, that is horrendous. We could have put at least a head on him or something. Well, no, I made it worse that he got no head and no legs. Especially how they've put the socks on it as well. Because it, it's like <laughs> an amp amputee, isn't it? Who knew we saw them shoes that we found a couple of weeks back? <laughs> yeah. Right, I keep going.
somebody there. I'm trying to hear voices from him. I heard voices, but I also heard that door sort of sort of open a little bit. And then close. And then close. Fucking I am shitting my pants in this place. Prop <gasps> Is this door behind me shutting? <laughs> This is because I didn't shut it properly. Fucking hell, I not Oh my fucking lord. That's it, it's time to go. I can't cope with this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is mad. It really is. We've been in worse places. We've than been this. in like proper spooky little houses. This is just a care room. And it's making us. making us feel horrible. <sighs> I knew they were sick, they're not that scared. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have we jumped now? Anyway. I spied some stairs around that corner. Let's go and have a look up there. Right, so you can see we're in an older part of the sort of place now. There's a weird clicking noise. Oh, is this like a a communal area? Oh no, it's another bedroom. This is a weird, this is different, isn't it? This is not like the sort of bedroom for, oh, I wonder if this is a staff bedroom, look. Infection control. PPE, PPE, wash your hands. I think somebody's been squatting. What, and they've moved a bed into here? They're sleeping in here. Why, what, because it's probably the driest, nicest room? Shh, Andy. I swear I can hear someone talking. I'm moving. Did you hear moving there? Rumbles. There can't be more, surely. They're all of it. There's got to be more than 60 people in here. I swear. God knows. Oh, I, am, gone forever, I, it? I am so on edge. Like, so, so massively on edge. Right, let's go. That bedroom's got a patio door, that's Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. That would be nice. Right. Oh, this is freaking me out. Oh, look. Someone's done a nice little painting. In here. Could you not make the doors scary and squeaky? No, I'm shutting it because I'm not going to walk off and that slowly close behind me and <laughs> shit me up again. I'm making sure it's closed. Oh, this is awful. Oh, dear me. You go first. I don't want to go first. <laughs> We're both holding back. Andy, I swear I can hear someone. Listen. Here. There's someone having a conversation upstairs, I swear there is. Downstairs, not downstairs. Yeah, that can be stuck downstairs as well. What do we do? Should we just fuck it and just, just shit him up? If I die, no soul will be there. Fuck's sake, Andy. Oh my fucking lord. 
It's like back in that other house we had record all yeah. when playing. Did he aim to write out the entire book on the kite? We're fucking just south of, like, Southern America. No, it's like... You're gonna make a screen like a pig? No, it's American. His hand motioned up. Up. You fly the kite? You fly the kite? He nodded yes. A stout wind was kicking up outside. I asked Mr. Dick... Like from Alabama. Fly, and he said it was. Then let's do it. Let's do it, I said. He looked pretty shocked, but he said, okay. He just had one more thing to write on it. Some words he wanted to put up there for me. What the so fuck is this radio doing time. on, though? Bedtime story exploring with Josh. <laughs> Never before. Is it Victorian, Never. this place? Look at that fireplace. What? Get out? Kill? <laughs> you? <laughs> I know exactly who you're taking the piss out of. Spirit? <laughs> Are you a man or a woman? Both. He says both. <laughs> They then? <laughs> he, she. <laughs> Die! <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. <laughs> oh my god, that proper, that proper freaked me out. Because it didn't sound like a radio. It sounded like people. Like a few of them as well. Good, didn't it? Yeah, and then there's, what's that banging? Oh, it's just this look. Like the extract, is it? Extract yeah. Fire. It's just that making a noise. Oh, that were horrendous. That was so, so bad. Is it just a communal shower? A communal shower? I don't mean like they all come in at the same time. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> Sheila and Susan washing each other. Stop it, you dirty man. Can you imagine bloody wiry old bloody grey pubes? Oh, that's the crumbs on them. What? Crumbs? That's yeah. disgusting. Like fanny butter. Cream. I hate it. I hate when you say fanny butter. I absolutely hate it. Some ladders here, look. Hello. Let's go and have a look. Right. Up we go. It's been a while since we've been up a ladder, isn't it? It is. For a new... We've been up in a lot for a long time, haven't we? No, haven't we? Because we've been doing a lot of little cottages and stuff. So it's nice to do something a bit different. Ooh. Ooh, there's stuff up here. Ooh. I don't know how good it is, but there's definitely stuff up here. I can't actually see what I'm doing either. Oh, fucking hell, I almost went then. Fuck a dog. Fuck a dog. It's all fastened. Oh. Said, yeah, that's exactly what I did. I almost missed a step in the same place. Now, there's plenty of stuff up here, but if it's any good, I don't know. Seems to be a lot of records, people's records and stuff up here. Walking sticks. I'm gonna need one of them if I'm gonna be carrying on till I'm bloody 83. Oh yeah, oh look at these here. What's this one say? I'm trying not to show his name. He's called Malcolm, but I'm not gonna show his surname. Uh, Malcolm is completely NBM. NBM, what could that stand for? N not not some mobile not he has got a peg in place that's to do with eating peg is it well it's either that or it's to do with bumming <laughs> he's pegging <laughs> yeah, he's been pegged malcolm's <laughs> been peg getting pegged <laughs> malcolm has his feed at 6 30 every day his feed yeah, that's like a horse or a cow or something put some balls down yeah that's not like you talk about a human. He has his feed at 6.30 every day, followed by water. It's a fucking horse. Only train staff to connect Malcolm's feed. Staff must make sure that there's no water or food left where Malcolm can reach because he'll try and eat or drink it. That's the whole point, isn't it? <laughs> this, is, this is awful. That's so bad. 
Regular mouth care to be maintained at all times. What? At least you give me some mouth care. I'd love a bit of mouth care, me. At all times. <laughs> You're so bad. I'd make sure there's some feed going in then. <laughs> and it'd be liquid. There won't oh. be no hard stuff or lumpy stuff. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's disgusting. You need to drink more liquids if it's lumpy. You need to get at doctors if it's lumpy. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Oh, hazard. Hazard? Losing weight. Well, that's because you're not letting him fucking eat. <laughs> he can't reach his food. That's why yeah. he's losing weight. And he's getting pegged. So, yeah, he's Hazard's losing weight. His, gain, his aims and goals are to maintain a healthy and stable weight. Feed the twat, then. I know. What, what is that all about? And not just water. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What's this one? This one's for Christine. And she's had a bru oh, she had a bruise on top of her eye. That's in 2020. That's because the strap on had broken off. Oh, and got up and in the eye while she was pegging Malcolm. <laughs> you can't see that. Going, Bing. <laughs> oh, I just noticed when he did that. Look at that. Oh, this. What what call her? Oh, I don't what know. Thing? What do you mean? What do you call? I've, you, I've just seen it. No her. Oh. Oh, that's oh, wet. Look at that, look at the frame. I love that frame, you know. That frame's lovely. It's it? so nice. What else have we got in here? Um, can we, there's other stuff in that box. Can we put it somewhere or not? Can we, oh no, I can't really get over there. Don't want to back down on this as well either. Oh, can you not put it on top of Malcolm? <laughs> here you are, Malcolm. Let's have some pegging done. Let's have a look then, what's in here? We'll what are they? Care plans. Care plans. Yeah, for certain people. They've got initials on for certain people. Loads of them up here. That's so bad. They shouldn't be leaving stuff like that about. When do we think that is? God knows. 30s, 40s? Or before? God, she can't be that old. Be... Oh, I don't know. We don't know when she. this has been here from. This might not be She's a patient. Right, she then? She can't be 30, from 30s, 40s now. She'll be like 120 years old. mother. Might not be, be her. Oh, hey. oh it's her again. Yeah, look, look at when that's that's a long time ago. Yeah, that's not fifties. That I think before then. I think See? Malcolm's been at it again. She's got a pearl necklace. <laughs> no, but I think from that embroidered top. That's as fine as Beeper's meet up. <laughs> what nineteen twenty three? Did you first set that one up? Yeah, yeah set that one up. Oh, oh look. This. Oh, wow. Market Raising School, 1974. Jesus Christ. Look at that. It's literally the whole school, isn't it? Yeah. That's mad. 1974. It was five years before I was born. That's a decent camera, that, isn't it? It is, actually. They're all really good. I can't actually do it. Really good quality. It's a shine. It's not your fault. Look, actually really detailed to say that it's such a wide angle. I don't know how they would have done that back then. Don't know how they would have taken it. Me there, look. When it was there. Oh yeah. They can't take it in like, on an iPhone, on panoramic, can they? So. That's what I was thinking of, it's the right panoramic shot. Yeah, it? it's good. Oh, what else is it? I bet there's loads in here, you know, but it's just about digging through. Shall we just dig through and find a few bits and then, ooh. In fact, let's look at this first. <gasps> when are these from? God, these are old. Kodak, oh my lord, look at some of these in here. They're, They're old. Victorian -y type or early turn of the century. 30s, 20s, 40s. <laughs> 30s, 20s, 40s, 80s, 2053s. I ain't looked at that. Why are you moving oh. off it? Just because you've seen it. Oh, look. Nice sepia, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. What are you looking down there for? Well, it could be the same woman, but to younger. be fair. Yeah, it could be. Not sure. Oh, she's got a little dog and a little hat. Come on, then. Next. She's just little. She's sat in a hay bale. Oh, God, what the hell's that? Look at that motorbike. And a number, half a number plate. Shame it's not got a full number plate. Yeah, because. Oh, yeah, that's that woman. That dog's really cute. Bear. It is a bit like Bear, to be fair. That's. That's got to be the same woman. I think it is the same woman, yeah. If not some very close relation. I don't know where that is. 
Could be the race course. Washing the dog in the pram. It's not a pram. pram. Is it? It's not a fucking. Oh, fucking no. Oh, my back's just gone funny. I thought you fell that stuff. Oh, God. Imagine. That's the way I die. <laughs> Falling down them stairs because my back went funny. Oh, dear. Oh. It is a bit like Bear. I'm going to bring Bear with us. Look. Not quite like Bear, though. No. But he's good. I like the dog. Yeah. Oh, loads of photos. It's so sad. That's foggy. Like a race. I think it's just faded. I don't think it's foggy. Moggy. The dog's turned into a cat. Moggy. Moggy foggy. Moggy up a tree. <laughs> Moggy. 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 Moggy in a post. There's loads in there. Right, let's just have a quick look through before. Yeah. Before. Right, so we've just had a look through and look at the amount of photos that are in here. And these are the ones that we've decided not to look at. And they goes all the way down. There's loads of them. Absolutely loads. Like, and it's such a shame because there's loads that are just going to get lost in the people's memories and stuff. I know that's probably before anyone can remember because they're all the 20s and 30s, aren't they? But it's people's relatives. It's such a shame. And then there's, there's documents and cards and all sorts and we've just had to move them out of the way so we can look at these ones do you want to get start off with oh yeah start off with that start letter with that. that letter's bizarre and it, have you ever seen paper this big to write on either no it's really long right look at this so it's 1931 um and it's about finwood rectory or Finwood Rectory, and if you go down here, it says about 1604, Finwood Manor was granted by the Crown to Sir Julius Caesar, 1557 to 1636. An English judge descended from the Dukes of Sisimi in Italy, and it just—it's all about the history of this place, of this manor, and I don't know where that is. It's Lincolnshire, Market Raisin. Finwood Rectory. So, not have a look at that. Yeah, I think it's really, really interesting. I would love to be able to read it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down it like that. And I will try and read some of it at some point. If anybody else wants to, you can do. In fact, I might take a couple of photos and put them on our Facebook page as well. And then look, it continues onto here. And I don't know. Oh, it tells you tells you stuff about like land property act and stuff like that as well. Oh look, this is not a manor unless it dates from the time of Edward the First. Is that a rule? It's class I've not classed as a manor unless it's Edward the First or before. Or around that time. I can't see that, can you? I don't know. It's not something I've ever heard. That's quite interesting, though. Something else I want to have a look at. Anyway, um, if anybody's interested, I'll take a couple of photos and put them on Facebook. Right. There's lots of these card photos. Now, these are some of the oldest ones, aren't they, photo-wise? Get them on these little cards that were taken at photographers. That was on, in Birmingham. New Street, Birmingham. Portrait painters. I don't know if that's the year or what, or if it's just a reference number. But yeah, the Victorian ones and that sort of era are always done on these little card things. Where's that? Oh, Lincoln. That one was taken in Lincoln. Yeah, look, she's definitely a little Victorian, isn't she? Definitely. I love how it sort of tells you the name as well of the place where it was done. Although this one is quite confusing because it says lots of different places. London, Liverpool, Edinburgh, Manchester, Bootle. It's like a chain company of photographers, isn't it? That's it cool. like um, Max Spielman. Well, yeah. Do they exist anymore? I don't know. I've no idea. Oh, I thought that was a picture, but... It's... Oh, it is. Look. Um, shine the light at it. I can't... I don't know if, oh, there we go. That's better. Yeah, it's a negative. An old, very old negative. That's really good. Right. That's better. Right, Put hold the torch in the air. That's it. Why can't you move your hand down? No, because then I'm down here. And what fucking point is that? 
Look, teeth, eyes, hairline, moustache, hat, glasses at the top, glasses with his hands on his hips, lurch. Them in the middle aren't too bad. They're okay. So, yeah. Don't know when. Cricketers. 1923, and this is case to grammar school. Fixed. Bloody hell, that one were hard work, weren't it? Oh, someone's got a bit excited over this one. I'm shitting it. What's he got in his little bag? Is it beer? Has he got a little little thing of beer? Looks like it. That's good, isn't it? When's that? I don't say. Same skull. Another one at the grammar school. Guessing this is another one. Oh, Mary Wells and Sheila something. Look at her eyes. She's like a zombie. Next. Ooh, I don't know when that's from. Joan McClelland. I like that they've all got the names on. Oh, look at these two. Oh, I like them. Well, I like him. I, he's, she's a bit weird. Her hair looks like Lego hair. Oh, 19, Christmas 1924. Uh, wishing for all the... I cannot read that. That is the messiest writing. Best, is that best? Best with heaps. It just all goes to shit after that. Jolly something munch. I'd drink after that. Yeah. Oh, so, just look at them all though in here. So good. Oh, he's back again. He's been to Offy. Oh, same guy again. Oh, look at him. Look at his little goggles. What is he? Is he a policeman? He's got a little badge on his hat, look. He's got goggles on. Oh, he's very smart, him. Yeah, it's a flash -a that. I like, I like that a lot. Not that I can focus it, but it's really good. Really, really good. Oh, it says something. I wonder if that's his badge numbers badge and number. stuff. Wilfred pa pa Park Parkinson. Parkinson. It's not Parkinson, I don't... Parkinson. Yeah, Parkinson. <laughs> no, but it's Parkinson. It's like Parkinson. <laughs> oh, look at her. What's she doing? Oh, Latin lecturer. M Mrs. Trump. Or Crump. Crump, it more like Nin it. 1930, London University. Oh, Goldsmith College. It is London. I thought it was. Oh, look at them. P that's weird. Like what? What are you? With that? Oh yeah, that's school. That's a, a science lab, isn't it? Look at the stuff on the board as well. All the different elements and stuff. When's this? 1922 to 29. That's the grammar school. Yeah, that's the grammar school as well. Science lab. Oh, is this the grammar school? Outside. Keep seeing photos next to these tennis tennis nets. I wonder if it's still there. But next to the church, I'll have to have a look. Was it Caister, did you say? A Caister Grammar School, Girls Something House Ground, 1922 to 29. Oh, look. William Younger's Ale. Are they still going? I feel like I've heard of William Younger's. Yeah. Don't think they're going now. No. I think they, oh, I think that's the point of why I just said it. I don't know what year that is. It's 1940s, I'm guessing, or 30s. The war. Oh, look. Not only do you get the school photo, you get all the names underneath as well. Now imagine if you saw one of your relatives on here. Be so strange. Barton Wakefield. Barton Wakefield. Oh, no. Wait John a Gibbons. Oh, it is, yeah. Derek, that's the right name, isn't it? Barton, Barton Wakefield. Yeah. You've got some money, haven't you? <laughs> and Geoffrey Herring. That's a bit fishy. Um, yeah, I thought that... Oh, you'd like that name. You'd like the her on the front row there. Oh, Noreen. Noreen Gash. <laughs> can't fault her, can you? <laughs> Noreen hey? She's at school, you can't say that. Oh, hang on, oh what's this? Oh, I didn't see this. What is it? 17th of November. Oh, 7th of November. That's today. It is. Well, it might not be now, but it was. No, it won't. Wait a minute. It still what? is just. Oh, it is. Yeah. 11.43 on the 7th of November. 
So what's that? 132 years ago. Yep. 132 years ago. This is when you die. Condition. Oh, don't. Don't do this to me. Uh, property in situate, situate in the city of Lincoln. Open it up then. Okay. I'm just going to have a look at this bit first. So, remain to pay £558. Purchased money, £662. So, the property cost £620 in 1890. So, it must have been pretty big, I think, back then for that money. You think? Well, got a deposit of 62 quid. And that would have been a hell of a lot of money in that, yeah. back then. No, but the per yeah, it's 10%, isn't it? Yeah. 10% of the purchase price. Um... City of Lincoln, for sale in one lot by auction. Yeah, 7th of November, 1890. Uh, message, or I can't really read it. No. Oh, air house, carriage house, granary. Um, something else. So it sounds like a massive place. Absolutely massive place. Because it's got... Just a minute, with the uh, something warehouse, carriage house, some, stables. Is that a stable? Yeah, stables, granary, um, and other outbuildings. And then guessing something or dressing it, dressing house. I don't really understand what that is. Oh, estate situated in is it Grantham Street? Grantham Street, Lincoln. Mm. 1890. It's just sat in here in a care home that's going to get knocked down. They will knock this place down because it's will. got no significance to anything. All this is going to be lost. Oh, look at it. Look at Speckies. I know. It's got a funny shape dead. But yeah, that's really good. What's next? Oh, this is an old one. Not that we've got a torch shining on it, but... Oh, it's been a bit battered. That looks like First World War. Yeah, 1914. Christmas. What's your name? Christmas 19... Oh, Christmas Eve 1914. And well, this one's 1915. Oh, look at him. Look at them. Very well dressed, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, we've got some film style here. Let's have a look. Two dick with best what? love. Panny. It looks like Fanny, to be fair. I don't know what that's supposed to say. Fudge. Might say fiance. Faith. Love, love, it's not faith. F I A. Fiath. Fiath. Edith Piaf. <laughs> oh, look at him. Look at this fella. Very. Yours very sincerely. Oh, what's it say? Is it Edward Ballantyne Colt, 1929? Oh, Vicar. Look at him and it's best wishes card. <sighs> oh, look at the size of this next one. It's huge. Wow. Look at them. They're big bowls. No, but I'm just looking at look at his hat. It's not like a normal bowl of that. It's taller than a bowl, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's like turned up at the edges as well. It's not flat. And then they get a little lad that works with him. He's not really little, but so many good things. Oh, look at this next woman. University student. Does it say what university? No, that's where it's taken. No, no. it's a shame. What's this? Oh, this is a pub, by the looks of things. The Flying Horse, William Friedman. Oh, a little woman stood in the doorway there as well. Ghost, it does look like a ghost to be fair. I wonder when that where that is in the world. Didn't say on there either. Next. Oh, have you done these? Yeah, well these done. The ones done. Yeah. The pictures. So there is millions of photos in there. Like absolutely loads, isn't there? There's oh god. Load. I know my back is killing from leaning over. But there's so many in there. We could just night, we could we could go on forever and ever. What else is there in here? Anything else? And it's it's terrible, isn't it? I'd hate to think that everything like that of mine... Should never be left. ...would be just left in a box or chucked in an attic. Oh, my God. They are pogs. I bet you don't remember pogs, do you? Vaguely. I don't know what you used to do with them. You used to, like, stack them up and throw them at each other. Oh, that's 
it was right, it was a good game. Right. How is that a game? What do you mean? How is it a game? What what do you you win them off each other? It's like two people, and then like you win them, and like by just throwing them at each other. Yeah, and they all had different pictures on them. Well, why? He had a little stack, and he had to sort of bounce it off it, and then he knocked off. He got to keep. Oh, not throwing it like me throwing no, it at you. No, each other's faces. That's what I mean. Stuff. I thought, why have you got to throw them at each other? What are you got to win? <laughs> no, I mean, you understand what you're on about. Was, oh god, this is awkward. Yeah, look. Hey, well, you're down there. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Oh, look, they're all down here. There's a little Scottish one there. They're all proper original pogs as well. They're not like knockoff pogs. They're proper pogs. That's so good. What's this one here? Jerry Anderson's Space Precinct. Oh, Jerry Anderson did uh, Thunderbirds. Oh, did he? Yeah, did sure he? he did. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. But yeah, there's loads of them down there anyway. Anyway, I'm now interested in what I'm kneeling on. Because I feel like there's something inside this that I'm on. <laughs> oh. oh, another bag. I'm not telling you. What's in the bag? Yeah, that's pretty new if it's 1976. Ooh, <laughs> is this Russian doll? Another bag in a bag. What's in here? This is older. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, this can't be more photos, surely. Oh, yeah. But this is probably somebody else's life now. Where they have been, are they? They've been Isle of Man. It says Isle of Man on it. No, back to the Isle of Man again. Well, oh, don't fucking go again, will you? It's like, oh, back to the Isle of Man again. <laughs> Got to come to this shit all again. <laughs> I've never. I'd like to go to the Isle Man. You've got, got three legs. I've got three legs. <laughs> Tripod. What's that? Oh no! It can't be. No, it? no, no. As if. 9th of June, nineteen eighty-eight. Copy. Not so. Not a will. Yeah. Annie Parker. Annie Parker. Nineteen seventy-four. Will and nineteen eighty-eight. Will. So. So this will be a revised one, won't it? Yeah. That's bad. That's really bad. Some people will be looking for this. Yeah, they will. Like, Joan from number 36 thought she were getting Annie's cat. And now it's just been sold Duff. to local Chinese takeaway. So, so what they get? Um, it says about revoking all wills previous to this. You don't say what you get. Oh, wait a minute. I give the sum of £50 to Patricia Martin. Um, next page. I don't want to say what address it is. Um, it says to pay debts, inheritance tax, divide the residue equi uh, equally between Ronald Butler uh, of Marie Parker of, yeah, I'm not saying where that is, um, in Nottinghamshire. So, yeah, the, she ain't really got very much to give, I don't think. No, yes, sir. 50 quid, pay all the taxes off, and then the rest goes well, to. Well, that's because of this. Fucking care, I almost took all the rest. Well, yeah. Someone was saying the other day it's like 1,200 quid a week to stay in these I places. I, I don't, don't know how it's I possible. Don't know how I can justify it. No, I know. Like I said, when I, I'm at that time where I need to go in a thing, just take me to a cliff in a wheelchair and I will roll myself off. With a parachute on it. Why would you do that? You just want, I just want to splat. Not Jesus, that Mexico. looks like me. <laughs> it looks like Roy. <laughs> Look at that air. Look at that air. Oh, oh yeah, to Auntie Parker. So Auntie Parker. Yeah. What? You, it's me foot probably. Oh. Up, oh. Um. Yeah, Auntie Parker. Yeah, because she's called Anne, isn't she? Oh yeah. Anne, Anne Parker and her husband's nose, eh? Oh, you idiot! <laughs> what's, what's these? <laughs> nice. <laughs> They've come as Christmas elves. Oh, I bet they ate that. <laughs> Imagine that. Let's get the old photos out. Thing Let's... is, they're probably like. If that's 60s, 70s... From Holland. You know, <laughs> if that's 60s, 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 so they may be like six, seven there or something like that. So they'll only be in the mid to late 60s now. I know, I bet you feel right to sell it for them. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these photos are, are quite modern. It's in the tin. Nothing. Again, this is what we've left in your will. <laughs> everything in the tin. You can have everything in here. Fuck all. Some bills. Yeah. And a, uh, a button fell out of it. Uh! I don't know where it went, but I don't like one. it. Medical cards. Medical cards. Yeah. I mean, medical cards. How I many diseases I've got? <laughs> what I've passed on to you is syphilis. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. You can have knob rot. 
<laughs> oh dear. Right. Captain Braybrook. Yeah, but it's about A. Parker again. The Lone Park Nursing Home, so in, so in Ashfield. This is in 1990. So she was in a care home in 1990. But yet, in here, like up until quite recently by the looks of things. Yeah. That's crazy. So what, 30 years in a care home? It says, oh, I've received a letter requesting the assistance of the Rifleman's Aid Society. So I'm guessing because her husband was some soldiery type, she got something out of it. It says, on behalf of the above named lady, the letter came from a Mrs. Betty Wardle, who is possibly a relative of Mrs. Parker. Uh. I would be most grateful if you could visit on our behalf and make a report together with any recommendations you may wish to to make wow that's interesting because that's not here even no. though it's a care home it's not here and look regimental headquarters peninsula barracks winchester mm. oh yeah captain td braybrook tumbleweeds what a name nottingham that's good yeah, look at these. That's a good photo. They're navy, aren't they? All yeah. navy people. What? I wonder what year it is. It says 97 on it twice, so it could be something like that, but that's, you know, look at that. It's like Bond and a Bond villain. Brooke Bond and Jaws. Oh, look at the can, though. What was it? Is it, is it Foster's? Looks like Really Foster's, old it? can of Foster's, it is, yeah. If I don't want to go through too many photos, people do get fed up with too many, but oh, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. I love finding stuff like just that. Just to show if you open a few things, I what know. you will find. Exactly. I'm going to leave that where it is. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, shit. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> This place, you know what? This is the best place we've been in this whole building in here. Not because of the photos, just because I don't feel as fucking freaked out in here as the rest of the place. There's only one way somebody can get up. <laughs> well, that's it. And we've got a load, load of um, walking sticks to batter them to death with. So. It is now my birthday. I am now 43 years old. I've made it without dying which is a massive shock. I've been so worried. I don't think you understand how worried I've been this year about that. And are you taking the ladders up? He's taking the ladders up and pushing them up here so I can't actually get down. What a tit. It's my birthday. You're supposed to be nice to me. Thank you. Being horrible to me. Now, these are going to collapse now, aren't they? Yeah. Now you've messed about with him. It's when you fall to your death. Exactly. I loved it up there. That was so good. Oh, look. A little person's face on here that used to be in this room, I'm guessing. That's a shame. I can't believe this radio. I can't believe your head. <laughs> Where have you pulled that from? Where's that just appeared from? Well, find out, find out all sorts, mate. Whose are those glasses, by the way? They're not yours, are they? Yeah. Are they? What do you want? I've never seen you wear those before in my life. You're lying. You're definitely lying. They're not yours. <laughs> right, come I on. Them then. Up from, they're good though, aren't they? Well, yeah, if, you, if you're Timmy Mallet. <laughs> We're yeah. wide awake. We should try and get Timmy Mallet on, on with us one day. I fucking hate him. <laughs> Did he can't say that? Oh, that's going to stink, that one. I've got you trapped right in this corner as well. Yeah, I'm leaving easier. Yeah. <laughs> Rap shit. Oh yeah, is it rat shit or bat shit? You looked up like I did as well, seeing if there were any up there. Come on then, let's go. It's not like waving torch that, <laughs> that's not going to help, is it? You're not going to burn it off. There you go, leave it in there. So, actually, I was quite impressed, because I don't like doing care homes. One, because I don't, I think they're sad. Repetitive. Well, yeah. Yeah, the repetitive and like boring, and the life's being stripped out of them. Pretty much like the people that were in there, and it's so sad to think that all those people died in those rooms as well. Like forty odd people dead over a couple of year period because of COVID, which is horrendous. 
Um, and also the abuse that went off on there. I don't want to go too much into detail, but it, it wasn't nice stuff that went off in there, no, was it? No. So, Especially when they were given all the PPE equipment and never used it. Yeah. So think, fuck it. That's it. So selfish. But that aside, once we got up into that attic, I was so impressed with the, those photos. Shame, it is so terrible, though, because, like, we were saying, like, when you abandoned like a house gets abandoned because maybe there's no family left and stuff at least all your stuff's still in your house mm. here it's not it's just being put plonked in a care home and nobody gives one nobody cares about it no one's coming back for it clearly do you know what i mean and it's a building that's probably going to get knocked down because it's even though it's got a little bit of age to it it's just either going to be stripped out or or knocked down yeah and if the um Resident got moved to a different care and why didn't they take the stuff? Yeah. Or why weren't they given the stuff? Yeah, or if they died, why didn't they give it back to the to the family mm -hmm. or whatever? It's so sad. It's like someone's just given up on that whole life and, and everything before that. Their mums and dads that were in the photos and stuff. It's so sad. Uh, but yeah, it was great to see them all. It was great to sort of save that before it gets lost forever. Um, but also... Fucking hell, I've never been as scared in that place. It never knew jump as much. I was jumping constantly. I was so jumping. I think I got that at the back of my head, though, that I was going to die today or oh, yesterday. <laughs> like, I, I got that in my head. And then you went to the toilet and I went and sat in a room by myself and I could hear footsteps. And then we could hear those voices upstairs. And, Which ended up being the radio. Yeah. Horrendous. But it's been good. I've enjoyed it. It's yeah. been something Better different. Better than what I thought. I know. I hate... I hate care homes i really so if do you don't like things like this obviously comment if you do well, yeah if you don't then because we were thinking comment. we were thinking we've done a lot of little cottages and little houses mm. recently which we love doing and we do like seeing those sorts of things but we want to know what you like what's your favorite sort of video is it asylums is it hospitals is it care homes is it cottages is it big grand houses but is they've got industrial oh god no please don't say industrial because i hate we don't it do industrial. please 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 give us a subscribe because we really 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 want to push on for fifty thousand now on this channel and the second channel i want to get to ten thousand subscribers and if you haven't had chance to watch the series the 150 pound car series episode three is now out so you've got three to watch already it's like an hour each episode at least yeah um so you've got three hours worth to watch and it's good and it's getting better every time i edit one i say to andy oh it's so much better than the last one first one oh it were all right, right. second one oh it were a bit better third one it's brilliant Building. fourth one it's amazing and i haven't done the fifth and sixth yet on seventh so anyway Building. yeah the excitement's building get watching anyway we're going and we'll see you soon and happy birthday to me and yeah, happy birthday matthew so feel free to send me a card i'll put the address somewhere it was, it was backwards no it didn't oh god look you can see like reflection in a reflection in a reflection in a reflection but there you go if you want to if that's not the right way around i ain't turning it around for you so so I'll... put it in the mirror in the mirror yeah anyway love you all we'll see you soon and bye then bye